Hey everyone, Dave here and welcome to LEGO Brick Tales Overview. It's a pretty huge brand coming to the quest, like very much universal because you don't need to be into games to know about LEGO. I wasn't necessarily into the physical objects per se, though I remember I was very much into two particle stuff, which was LEGO racing game and of course the Star Wars ones where it was just so fun to play with my friends and just progress throughout the story. It's very interesting this is coming to VR now and perfect before the Christmas period. <laughs> so LEGO Brick Tales is a building adventure simulator game where you'll head straight into the epic adventure of the beautiful LEGO biomes in search for inspiration for your grandfather's amusement park, helping the minifigures along the way and discover a whole new world. I love the whole idea that you can just literally customize your experience by building stuff on the go and just creating whatever your mind will figure out. I'm kind of confused if it's a an actual full AR experience or the VR is also available because I don't necessarily see the point of it since it's just your environment and then a game. I will say that it is very cool to have a whole LEGO <laughs> universe available at your disposal without any mess and it's kind of literally animating the whole sets that were always dead and just uneventful. This is very much a crafting title so besides some guidance there will be a lot of sandbox situations going on with just collectibles and infinite possibilities for your own gameplay. If it's something that will turn into the playful like it's very hard to tell. As big as this franchise is it's just pretty cool to see that they also have an interest in virtual reality and it's just not a gimmick. <laughs> Let's play with some Legos. A short tutorial. Besides this window that's blocking my view. This is like insane quality. In terms of just the details, the edges like... Real life essentially. <laughs> Change what? Ah, okay, the wrists. It's very like twisting your wrist though, it's not a straight look at it, it's actually curved. Okay, let's just play. But it really is mind-boggling how good that looks. My grandchild. Beautiful Lego dioramas. This is kind of crazy, not gonna lie. They did a great job with the detail work. Though I'm not sure if it's something with the frame rate, like there's a lot of frame skipping. Like literally when I move my head, even here I can notice screen shaking. <laughs> Jesus! Huh? 
Holy. I feel like they're getting choking. It's very, like, surprising, just the level of quality. I will not get enough of it. It might be the most detailed game I've ever seen. It is Lego, but, like, highly polished. What the? I don't know if coming too close is actually a good idea, cause... It's like I would be crossing my eyes to look at stuff. <laughs> okay, so... How can we help him? <laughs> okay. So it's like missions. What about here? Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of information going on. I didn't notice this background. We pick up by trigger. Oh, this is very specific. So we made it, and we go further. I don't necessarily like how the game resets my view. I like that there's a model just nearby to give you some tips. No, actually. Those are very small pieces. It is definitely Lego. Full physics and just building along the way. Oh, we literally interact and prepare everything. Wow. What about like learning? So 
So it's just more advanced stuff. <laughs> and like more mechanics to discover. It's just like so many possibilities here. Ah, but we can kind of discover everything, not only building. But we'll just progress for now. Simulation? Oh, what the? Ah, I need to think as well about the constructions and their like sturdiness. Because I would fall here, which would be. Pretty interesting as well. Jesus, we literally do everything in this game. Which is as it should be. Oh my god. So we need to make sure he doesn't break his bones. Very cute tutorial. The Lego clouds. Ah, it's so broken. I didn't even notice at first. Yeah, very simple. Ah. Ah. 
<laughs> There's a lot of store line and background going on. Okay. And this is like a stage setup and stuff. Jesus. So crazy. Like even the small things here. Oh, I forgot we have wrist menu. Okay, so there is stuff to configure, customization and just all of that jazz. I believe I love this. <laughs> like I did not see such a level of quality in a very long time. Granted, this is a Lego game, so it's not like you have some high end graphics going on. But the level of detail is just incredible. <laughs> I will say that I think the performance is gutted by the whole game because I do notice some frame skips and lows in performance, which is a surprise, but maybe not so much because you have so many things interactable here. Small just blocks and all of that. I don't know if we will be able to turn this into the playthrough per se, but for anyone that enjoys like building Lego and just everything of that sort, this is amazing. <laughs> and it's nice to see such a big franchise released actually very polished and pretty incredible for what it is. 